The following contest is a last man standing match. Making his way to the ring from Denton, Texas. Weighing in at 137 pounds, Pedro. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold out crowd came to see. in the house and his opponent from Philadelphia Pennsylvania weighing in at 100 Drew Gulak the fact is Drew Gulak is a skilled mat technician he pays great attention to detail especially when it means manipulating the human anatomy Remember, the title's not on the line here, but I'd be shocked if that changes the champ's outlook on this match. I would too, Cole. The champ is a professional, and a true pro goes out there and gives 100% every single time, regardless of the situation. The WWE Universe loves a last man standing match, but they take a toll on these superstars. I can tell you that. That's a true point, Byron. Many superstars have been unable to compete in events for weeks, even months after a last man standing match due to the toll it's taken on their body. But the flip side of that coin is a victory here could propel the winner into a stratosphere they've never seen before. Well, you've always been a glass half full kind of guy, haven't you, Cole? Oh, what a forearm. Up and face first, Flapjack. Waist lock, no, no! Belly to belly! My goodness! Oh, nasty impact. What's he got in mind? Thunderous power bomb! Punishing the opponent! Some of his win now. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Just caught flush. Turning the momentum to his favor. It is all going his way right about now. Two. Drew Gulak has made it his personal mission to establish Three. a new fly zone and eradicate high flyers from 205 Live. A tall order when you consider the many aerial specialists in WWE's Six. cruiserweight division. And this match is going to continue. From behind. Back suplex. Michael, you brought up Drew Gulak's no-fly zone, and it's such an obvious ploy for Gulak to get a leg up on the competition. I, I just don't get it. And Drew's campaigning for a better 205 Live, and that's your attitude, Byron? Anyway, it's actually worked because we've seen guys like Tony Neves, Arya Davari, Noah Amdar all cut down the top rope moves at Gulak's urging. The impact! One, two. These guys have to knock each other three. down to the point that their opponent can't get up. An incredible Six. range of emotions here. No one knows what's going to happen next. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. Ooh. 
last man standing match. Nobody's leaving this one as friends. I'm no mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. Great match Seven. here, but if you miss any of the action from this Eight. week, just go to WWE's Facebook page, Nine. YouTube channel, Twitter, and more to get a This grueling last man standing match has finally come to an end. That match deserves another look. Here we go. Here is your winner, Pedro! And there's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. I guess Gulak needs